Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. So the iPad Air launched last year single-handedly took down the mighty iPad Pro by being the best iPad money can buy. And this was due to a lot of Pro features borrowed along with staying in the relatively middle-ish price bracket. So in this video, I would like to give you tips and suggestions on how to use your iPad Air 4 as a laptop replacement. And I will also address the few shortcomings of the iPad Air 4 and how using certain apps will address those shortcomings. Just before proceeding, please hit that like button guys so YouTube algorithm will push my video to more viewers and whilst you're there, please hit that subscribe button if you have not already subscribed to my channel and show your support so I can continue making fun and informative content for you guys. So let's get on with the video. First is the accessories which you need to add to make your iPad Air more versatile. And before we look into keyboard and mouse, we need to consider a USB Type-C hub. You need to invest in one to increase the potential of your iPad Air before anything else. I have two here. One is from Anchor and the other one is first of its kind USB Type-C hub by Dockcase. This one has a smart display which tells you what type of connection is made and what the transfer speed is. There's a whole video on my channel along with the link to their Kickstarter campaign. I will link it down below so you can check it out. So adding a simple USB Type-C hub will massively increase the potential of your iPad Air 4. You can connect an external USB keyboard and mouse and use your iPad like how you would use your laptop or PC. You really don't need to buy new wireless or Bluetooth accessories and your existing keyboard and mouse will perfectly work fine. This combination will allow you to eliminate by far the biggest weakness of the iPad Air 4 which is out of the box it only has multi-touch interface as the standard user input method. Next things which you need to add is a stand or a case. The iPad doesn't have an inbuilt kickstand so a simple case or a stand will give you that right orientation to get your work done. I have reviewed some excellent cases on my channel from various manufacturers and I do have a few more in the pipeline. I will link all the videos below so you can check. And this one which I'm featuring is a simple stand from IKEA which costs only about $3 or £2. And trust me guys, this will be the best £2 that you've ever spent in your life. This stand is really that good. Next, if you want to turn your iPad into a proper laptop then the Apple's Magic Keyboard case doesn't just offer that functionality with its keyboard and trackpad but it even makes the entire setup look like one. But be warned guys as it doesn't come cheap and it costs almost as an entry level iPad 8th gen. So do decide and look at your requirement before investing in one. However, Amazon is full of third-party keyboard cases for cheap which do the job but you'll have to compromise a bit on the quality. The one which I'm showing is EasyAct keyboard case for iPad Pro which is pretty decent. Next is Apple Pencil. True that you can add an additional mouse and use that to navigate but the Apple Pencil offers much more precise control over Pro applications. And the way it just integrates with the iPad Air is really unparalleled. But do not buy this if you're using just for navigation. Buy this if you plan to use it for pro apps or if you're a student. My daughter has been using it for her homeschooling during the lockdown and I cannot stress how much it helped her. Next is external monitor support. Again, if you choose the USB hub carefully, like my selection here, then it will come with a HDMI port as well. All you need is a HDMI cable and off you go. Personally, using an external monitor with my iPad helped me a lot with productivity, especially when editing videos or writing scripts or even making presentations. Not to mention watching videos or movies can be a communal thing as the big screen offers movie watching for your entire family. 
Then coming back to that USB type C port, you can make use of its full potential as well when it comes to adding external storage. You can buy SSD external storage and connect it directly via the USB type C port or add pen drives to increase the storage capacity of the iPad Air 4. This SanDisk pen drive only costs about 20 pounds and adds a whopping 128 gigabytes of external storage. And since it has a USB type C port, it plugs in without the need of any dongles or adapters. So all your school slash office files can be happily stored on this without worrying about running out of the internal storage on your iPad Air 4. And the final point about USB type C port is that you can reverse charge. Same as how you can use your laptop to charge accessories, you can do the same with the iPad Air 4. All you need to do is have the right cable. And then the ability to print. I know you cannot manually connect a printer via a cable with the iPad Air 4, but Wi-Fi and AirPrint enabled printers have become so cheap that in 2021, I wouldn't recommend you buying a printer without that functionality. Next is the power of apps. We should not underestimate this as the Apple App Store is so versatile and complete that you can pretty much find any app for most of the software which you use on your PC. And these apps also address the shortcomings on the iPad. I will mention a few useful ones. First is this app called Photo Vault. If you've seen the ability to hide pictures solution in the iPad, it really is a joke. Anyone can just go into settings and unhide that. So this Photo Vault app addresses this shortcoming by giving you a complete solution to properly lock your photos and files and password protect them. You can even turn off Face ID or Touch ID if you are sharing this iPad with others. You can create folders, set separate passwords for them, create decoys and even set alerts for break-ins. The free version is decent, but the paid one gives you access to the complete set of features and also makes it ad-free. Next is the app called FE File Explorer. Transferring files from other PCs onto the iPad is always a chore as you need to connect it via the cable and do it via iTunes. But this app, FE File Explorer, makes it super simple. All you need to do is install the app and map a folder on your PC and that's it. The folder is now wirelessly shared between your PC and the iPad and you can easily transfer files between both the devices over the air without the need of any cables. Next is TeamViewer. One thing which you can do on your laptop is remote desktop and connect to other machines. But with the free TeamViewer app on the iPad Air 4, you can pretty much do the same. It's got the same inbuilt controls and gestures, which will even make you use your Windows PC or Mac via the touch interface. Next is the ability to install fonts. One thing which is quite common on a PC or a Mac, you can do the same on the iPad Air 4 as well. You need this app called iFont. This app allows you to browse and add free fonts or purchase ones which are not free. You can even download font files from other websites and install it via the app. So now you're no longer stuck with the default fonts which come on the iPad. You can just add whatever suits your taste and requirement. Next, let's move on to the Files app. One thing Windows does perfectly right is file management. You know, storing files, compressing them, sorting them, reorganizing them into folders, etc. Well, you can do all of that on the iPad Air thanks to iPad OS and the Files app. This simple but super useful Files app is more powerful and useful than ever, pushing the iPad closer to being that perfect laptop replacement. And a hidden tip here guys, same as Windows or PC, you can open a file with the app of your choice. For example, I have an AVI movie file which the default iPad video player doesn't play it. So I can open it in VLC player app by just long pressing it and then choosing VLC player from the selection. And finally, multitasking, something which you naturally do on your PC or Mac. And on the iPad Air 4, you can use its potential to increase your productivity. 
you can open apps side by side, even the same ones. You can have music or video playing in the background and you can have an extra window hovering on the top. And don't forget drag and drop as you can simply drag files from one location onto other and it could even be images or even content. So there you go guys, for most casual users, you really can do away with your laptop and just use your iPad Air 4 as your main computer as it is powerful, convenient and has an app ecosystem along with a very powerful operating system which takes care of most of your common tasks without a hiccup. Guys, I know several specific user groups like programmers, gamers, you still need a laptop, but for most casual users, office workers, students, you all can really invest in just this one device and use it as your main computer. So that's it for the video, guys. Hope you liked it. Do comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this. And also, please help me by hitting that like button so YouTube algorithm will push my content to more viewers. And whilst you're there, the subscription button is just a few pixels away. Please hit that and support me so I can keep this channel going and make fun and informative content for you. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.